Nacional, dos minutos, la señora Hibner. Uh, commissioner, uh, over the last years, innovation has become a symbol of policy instrument that can fix all our uh, problems. That means that there are huge expectations and that we must uh, deliver. And, of course, uh, for a successful implementation of ideas, governance matters very strongly. And governance framework for innovation must be based today on pragmatism, must be delivered with a sense of urgency and also be at the service of the policy content. Europe, we all agree, has to innovate or it will lose out to competitors. And every link in the European innovation chain must be strengthened and innovation policy must be refocused towards challenges. That's what I understand the Innovation Union is offering. Today we run the risk that not only companies but also governments might decrease the investment in innovation. This is the logic of the crisis and this is the logic of national budget cuts. And EU policy response and also EU budgetary instruments must go firmly against this uh, logic. In Europe, innovation is not just a concept that can be limited to specific innovation centers. It needs to be applied across the entire European territory. Europe is simply too small to afford um, the innovation deficits in any parts of its uh, territory. Research and innovation are clearly not the same thing, and we agree with you very clearly. And governance for innovation should therefore do more than just support research and development policy. Promoting innovation-led growth is not about increasing excellence in R&D and R&D infrastructure, important as they are. Uh, I, uh, it is also or even first and foremost about mobilizing talents, about mobilizing new ideas. Governance for innovation must mean establishing new partnerships, enabling efficient innovation systems that mobilize the intellectual and entrepreneurial uh, capacities, uh, detecting also sleeping innovators, and we have many of them in Europe through a business environment that is conducive to innovation, and particularly for SMEs and covering all sectors of the economy. So to conclude, let me say, let me say that we do not yet have a fully fledged European model for the innovation, but what is clear is that it must be rooted in a well-orchestrated, concrete, strong and joint public-private effort, and I trust that that Innovation Union will take us all the way forward towards such a model. Thank you. Gracias, señora Hibner. Pasamos a los grupos por el Grupo Popular y dos minutos la señora Sartori. Gracias, Presidente. La relación de la colega Merkis, que ringrazio por el trabajo svolto, es un primo importante contributo del Parlamento a la propuesta